the hometown kid, yeah, taking the million buccarinos. But let's start from the top. Toronto hosting the skills competition, of course, featuring 12 all-stars when it all began. Eight events total with the player accumulating the most points, taking home that $1 million at the end of the night. And we started off with the Fast and All fastest skater featuring five players. Quinn Hughes going second, sets the pace with a time of just over 14 seconds. Next up, the winner of the 2020 event, Matt Barzell, three-time All-Star, and he just kicks it into a top gear. Sets the new time to be sub-14 at 13.519. So last to go, the three-time winner of the event, the captain of the Oilers, turns on the Jets. Looking to beat the Barzell time of 13.519. And he does. Connor McDavid is the fastest skater in the 2024 skills. Hustling, hustling. McDavid well, avenges his loss to Barzell back in the 2020 competition. And uh, William Nylander, wow, as yeah. we all were, yeah. wowed by that performance. Nylander finished fifth. McDavid posted a time of 13.408, winning the event for a fourth time. And give him the five points. Okay, I love this one, the one-timer competition. Hey, look at the passers. Connor Bedard said he's going to be setting up some passes along with Sidney Crosby players. Three shots from three different areas to score as many points as possible. Nate Dog, Nate McKinnon, the man to beat early on. The Avalanche sniper puts up 23 points, sets the score to beat. I thought he was gonna go Colby Armstrong half clapper there, but no, just a little rest just going up top. Dry sidle in the dry sidle zone. Leon Dry sidle dominates from here. Finishes with a score of 22, means McKinnon maintains his lead, but he knows it's not safe. Right now, the pass is going, so. Yeah, he's gonna dust me. Let the dusting begin. David Pasternak, 21 points with one shot to go. Given a score of three on his final attempt to get the win. However, it's a big however. Video replay, of Video course. Video replay. Okay, we got post, we got bar, we got nothing. It's worth one. McKinnon is the winner. He earns five points. Okay, next up was the passing challenge and players 45 seconds and 11 shots to try and hit targets with different point values. So Nikita Kucherov, now in the regular season, he's tied for first with 53 helpers this season, but can't get much going in this one. And the fans starting to chirp him, but it did bring a smile to, well, the other all-star spaces. And here's Elise Pedersen. So he needs seven to tie, eight to take the lead. As time is going, yeah. On the money, oh, and again, wow. one more, oh, got him. cool under pressure. Cool as a Canuck, 25 points for Pedersen, wins the passing challenge and moves into a tie for first, coming up with seven points, tying him with Barzell at that Jesus point. You know, Al, I am afraid he stopped by our set to say hello. This is the Al, I am afraid he competition. This is the hardest shot. This is like the long drive and the home run derby all at once. Tis my favorite, Osmac. Tis my favorite. Okay, Austin Matthews, his second shot, 96.22 miles per hour. He sets the pace, ah, but not for long. Kale McCarr, his first shot, talk about heat. Aya Brady-esque, 102.56 to take the lead, and all you can say is, what the what? His reaction's Was that great. A what the what? That's a great <laughs> well, that's reaction. Just to close your mouth. Yeah. JT Miller steps in with 102.3, just short of the lead. Comes down to Pedersen, the defending champ. First shot, down to his final shot. Let's see. It'd be no. It'd be no. I think of McGinnis. I think of Chara. I think of Big Al. Kale McCarr wins hardest shot. Okay, let's keep rolling and move on to stick handling, the upper deck stick handling event. Now, as we saw earlier, Kucherov, he's still hearing it from the fans. Kucherov, Listen up. who needs a result here is he has struggled and yeah, not his night. I think he's going to milk this one. Yeah. He's going uh, to soak it all in as the fans give him a little of the Bronx cheer. 
tough crowd. Okay, next up, William Nylander didn't fare so well in the fastest skater. Didn't start well. That's not how you start. It's how you finish and strong. Time of 27.272. So that was good for third in the event. Meanwhile, Connor McDavid already fastest skater under his belt. That title posts an impressive 25.755 seconds. Just ridiculous. It looks like slow-mo when he does it. He wins his second event of the night and picks up another full five points. Accurate shooting. Always tons of fun. Let's get some passers out there. How about Sarah Nurse? And from Pictou County, Nova Scotia, Blair Turnbull, daughter of Rock and Ron. How about some leave stompy? Steve Thomas and the legendary number 93 killer. Doug Gilmore doing some feeding for Nikita Kucherov. Goes three for three to start, but he jumped the clock. False start. Uh, he ends up finishing dead last overall. Can't jump the clock. Connor McDavid again, please. Two for two. Three for three. He's perfect in nine. One, five, eight. Now, to steal a line from Kyle Brand, Connor, I'm not sure if you're a fan of professional wrestling, but he is putting on a Kurt Henning Mr. Perfect type performance. Let's talk strategy off to Matthews. Shooting percentage. I like the line. Bottom left, bottom right, top left, top right. There's three. One more, nine, three, four, one, second fastest time. And that should get him into the top eight. Yeah, just to See, it's all about the top oh, eight. You move into the top McDavid eight out of the 12 and you have a shot at the million bucks. McDavid doesn't win it. Connor McDavid does. So what's that mean? That means that McDavid sits in first place after the first six and one, two, three, four players are eliminated. Pasternak, Dreisaitl, Hughes, and Kucherov all out. Okay, so the top eight point earners who are moving on go to the one-on-one. -on -one. And this is where they have to pick a goalie. Now, I like this because the tender finally gets some coin, right? Most saves will win them $100,000. First up, William Nylander. He, he just picked Cam Talbot. He told David Amber, you know what? I'm going with the goalie right across from me. That's easy. So here goes the Kings goalie, Talbot's kids, watching on, waving on. And Nylander ends his round with the Forsberg. Strong showing from the bud, nine points. Another leaf, Austin Matthews squaring off against Thatcher Demko. Matthews putting up seven points. That is good enough for second to the final match of Conor McDavid against Alexander Georgiev, who ends up shutting the door in the Oilers' captain. Nine saves, a couple of poke checks. So Georgiev earning himself $100,000. Nylander, though, wins his first event of the night, so he is moving on to the final. Okay, so this is what we have after the seven events. McDavid still leading the pack, one and a half up on Matt Barzell. Nathan McKinnon and Elias Pettersson, though, eliminated after that one-on-one. -on -one. The obstacle course, the final event with double the points on the line. All right, obstacle course. Man, I'm all about the obstacle course. This looked like so much fun, as Kale McCarr said. Is there elevation in Toronto? Because these guys were chugging. Points worth double. Million bucks on the line. Kale McCarr, impressive. Most impressive. 43.435 seconds to take the early lead. How about Austin Matthews looking to respond in front of the hometown crowd? It's the sauce. The sauce is tough. Struggles with the sauce eventually ends up with a time of 47.271. Like the long shot. In the end, Connor McDavid. Can he win it? Can he take home the million? I mean, this is just beautiful. This is just skill personified from Connor McDavid. Just lovely sauce. And look at this finish. Puts it home. Beats McCarr's time by nearly three seconds. Wins $1 million and takes home the skills competition.